Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of Into the Flames. I'm gonna show you something here that has changed or that's gonna change with the next update. Um, I have it of course already as I am, uh, while I have access to an exclusive version that at the moment is only to me accessible. Um, and uh, what we have here now is the tiller and uh, you can drive the tiller without an actual tiller man in it if you play single player um, you click the left round and the right mouse button to move the tiller and that is really well it's a nice little uh, nice little feature I think and it works really really well it it I was not sure how it's gonna work to be honest with you because I was not sure how natural this will come but lo and behold, I am rather impressed, to be honest with you. There is another thing that I wanted to show you, and I forgot to show you that last time. Um, when you drive here, some of you commented that, well, uh, not even the mirrors are working. Well, this is because that is kind of uh, done to preserve lower NPCs. But if you have B, then look at this. The mirrors are working, and they are working well. And you can see here how the tiller is coming around in the back and uh, how it's uh, moving. So that is really nice to see. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is this map. And uh, yes, people commented about it and I have commented about it. And I'm very open with Corey when it comes to feedback on this stuff. And I told him, I said, um, so this is not an airport. There is no, uh, no runway. Three hours later, he presented me with a picture of this. And so, soon I'm able to present you guys an actual airport with a runway, with taxiways, with hangars the way they should be. And you know what? The hangar section in that, all that, that was good. It's just a couple of details that just want to be in there as far as I'm concerned. And I was very forthcoming on that. And I will do so in the future. And it is very good for you guys to give us feedback. Yeah, there's things that you as uh, as the end user really uh, can expect from a game. And what I think what you can expect or should be able to expect is from an airport map to look like an actual airport with runway with runways, with taxiways, with a lighting that is involved. So, um, yeah, that is one of the things. And uh, before I continue here babbling on, I think we should get into some more firefighting. What do you think? Yeah, and we do have a call. What do you know? We have a fire on the main terminal. So that, of course, requires an immediate response. Alright. Um, well, truck one or quint one on scene. Gonna have a quick look around here. We have several entrances and exits. As this is a terminal, it is already evacuated, so that's good. Um, there is airplanes sitting at the run uh, at the at the gangways. However. I don't think the fire can actually spread through them into the airplane yet, but there's something for you, Corey, to think about maybe. Eventually, that would be kind of cool if the fire could get out of, out of, uh, to, to the point where, yeah, it would spread down and would potentially There we go. Opening this up. Alright. Good job. So we got this open. And now we're gonna be... Uh, gonna give that back. Uh, K12 goes back. 
And we're gonna grab us ye older attack line. Oh, I also seen some preview for the new host system. And let me tell you, it's going to be pretty sweet. Going in here. So I can see there's a, there's a forklift on fire. I think this might be limited just to this, um, this hall here. The cargo, cargo area of the, of the terminal. So the passenger area is unharmed. Now I don't know if there is even a passenger area in the terminal because I honestly have never been in the terminal before. Making our way in here. Getting all this hopefully under control here right away. But yeah, like I said before, guys, if you have feedback, constructive criticism, then leave that underneath these videos because Tori is reading every single of those comments and uh, if the criticism is warranted, then he will take care of it. And you know, a lot of that stuff too that you might see is uh, something that he might have not thought about initially. Oh my goodness, now it's getting really smoky. Okay, we will continue right hand at this point. Okay, I think we got the fire under control here. However... Oh, look at this. So there is indeed a... Uh, there is indeed a, uh, a passenger area. That is too cool. Now, of course, we have a problem. Okay, that is really cool. But we do have a problem here because there is more... Okay, close this again because this is, of course, going to prevent smoke going all in. Yeah, we got this part here uh, under control. However, the fire spread already into the adjacent uh, building. So we have to go and uh, get the K-12 once again. And open this next part up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. He is fully involved indeed. Okay, 
get rid of the rotary saw, grab another attack line, and in we go again! Oh boy. Yeah, I can see here. This is, uh, this is gonna be a bigger job. We're gonna do something different this time. This time we're gonna go in a left hand pattern. And this is really interesting for me because I have never been in this uh, in this hangar before. I have never seen the inside. So finding my way through here is as difficult for you uh, or for me as it would be for you when you get here for the first time. And this is really this is showing one thing very clearly, and that is something that you do in real life. Um, with all new industrial buildings and so on and so forth where there is the potential for for a large-scale response you will have the fire department actually go through and uh, and have uh, yeah have them tour the place make notes of all the different uh, special hallways uh, what is stored in in which hall what is potentially stored in which hall and uh, they also they have actual maps where they can find their way through terminals through schools through whatever else has uh, many hallways and, and potentially uh, many different hazards for firefighters as well um Okay, I think the fire is under control at this point. We're gonna make our way out and we're gonna start ventilating the building. Um, another thing that uh, Corey added now is the fact that uh, you can provoke a flashover when you start ventilating before you actually have the fire out, which is awesome. Wait a second, do we have more fire? Yeah, stand by here because uh, I hear more fire. I definitely hear more fire. Okay, we are moving very quickly now to the other side here. Because I'm getting tired of carrying all the equipment back and forth. Okay. Uh, rotary saw for the win. Once again. I'm gonna have a look in here if there's fire. If the fire already extended into... Oh, I think I don't think it can cut this, can I? No, I can't cut this. Good to know. Man, this is a lot more involved than I've expected. No pun intended. 
Well, maybe a little bit. Okay, you know what? We're gonna be making our way here through the terminal and make sure that everything is good. Yeah, see, it blew this window out already. What? No! Friends. Friends. That uh, shall be the end then for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode and to join me again next time when we are back uh, in Into the Flames and with more dev news or with more gameplay. Um, I think that's a good point to end it. There's definitely a lot going on and there's a lot to these terminals. There's a lot to the map and you've seen the uh, picture in the beginning. I'm excited to see where this is all going. Thank you so much for watching. For now though, as I said, keep uh, keep the comments, keep the feedback coming. And until next time, this is Northern Alex signing off. God bless.